Overall, it was very um, challenging, but yet it was very good for athletes. Um, in basketball, the males got second, Panama um, first, the males got second, so that was a good outing for them. The females did not do so well, they, they ranked fifth out of the six teams. In volleyball, we got second for both the male and female. Um, in football, again, we did not fare off so well. Um, I think the male got um, third and the female got fifth. And in table tennis, out of the four categories, I believe we had three categories won. Again, I must reiterate, though, that this was not so much in terms of um, first, second, and third place but for the ranking, no? Um, but every child got the same medal. So it was, again, a participatory event. However, on paper, you still have to rank who, who came first, who came second, who came third. With regards to football, what does that mean for us as a country in terms of either putting together a program that would begin to develop these young talents at an earlier age to be able to compete in Kodikadera? Well, I think it goes both ways. As you know, the National Sports Council is the one who organizes primary school sports. And so um, it means that they would have to look at the program, look at the policies they have concerning secondary school, and then see if they will make some changes for Kodika there. Um, it's very difficult because then you don't want to eliminate a lot of your, your, your student athletes. Um, when you start to change the age range, that's what you start to do, especially for your local championship. So they will have to look at it and determine what they want to do. Um, as so far as the National um, Federation concerned, is that they will have to definitely try to assist with more Munalito tournament um, five aside, seven aside, because that in itself will then help the primary school program. And so when that develops, then you'll see us stronger in Kodika there.